My name is Martha Adamczyk. My address is 16555 Van Wagoner Road, Spring Lake, Michigan, 49456. And my age, uh, 77. I opened up a restaurant and bar in 1992, the Rosebud, and I ran it and uh, owned the building, and um, it was right at first in Washington. Um, I considered it a good thing for the community because it brought good music, good food, reasonable prices. Um, it was a respectable place to bring your family for dinner and uh, to enjoy a, a dance and uh, a friendly drink if you needed to. Um, I was here through many times. We had uh, no back patio back then and um, I watched the community come together and uh, everybody decided to get on the bandwagon and uh, bring good music to downtown Grand Haven. So I think that it, it boosted people's uh, enthusiasm for bringing that kind of thing to the downtown area. Um, in 96, we renovated the 11 apartments upstairs and completely filled them up. And it was a reasonable rental place for people to come and stay and live. It was a long-term rental. It wasn't short-term rental. and. Um, the rents were $350 to $700 a month, and that included heat at the time. So it was reasonable. And uh, we did that, and uh, I owned the building all the way up through 2015, and um, owned uh, the restaurant on and off, mostly on. I think there was only two and a half years that I did not own it. But in those two and a half years, the fellow that bought it from me lost it back to me. So I had to bring it back from the gates of hell and did that and successfully. In addition to that, any time that I felt that there was a need for additional income to be able to keep everything going beautifully, I went to work in real estate and I started selling real estate in Grand Haven in 2001. And, uh, have my license still active and uh, I'm currently selling with Five Star Real Estate. So if you want to buy anything or sell anything, you can call on me. I'm running because it seems that the people in office um, are circumventing. Uh, they're people that elected them to begin with and um, we need a say in how things are going within our community. And if we don't stand up and take a stand and participate in our local elections, as well as any other elections, then we shouldn't be saying anything to criticize them. We need to participate. This is all about the people and our government and how it's supposed to work for us. And that's what I'm all for. As far as um, the website for Spring Lake Township goes, um, it should be a lot easier to manage. So I would see that the website would be um, made simpler and smoother for people to be able to navigate and see what they need to see and be able to make decisions on the information that's being provided um, as compared to cryptic. <laughs> I'm not cryptic. I'm pretty much out there and what you see is what you get. And um, I usually get to the bottom of any mysteries. I like mysteries, but I get to the bottom of them and find out what the obstacles are to the success for the community. And that might mean being uh, pleasant and nice and listening well to what people want. And then once you find out what they want, find out if they're practical answers and if they can be solved easily and affordably. What a novel idea that we stay within a budget and we don't just keep spending more, more, more on things that aren't what anybody wants. So we need to uh, deal with 
budgets. We need to deal with navigation. We need to make our uh, voices heard. Um, and uh, that is important.